You can start. <laughs> you can start refreshing it now, and then when you can start talking, I'm gonna sign on you. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, guys. Um, my name is Kai, and this is my colleague T. And we are both game designers on Forge of Empires. And we would like to talk to you about this spring event um, because obviously we have a new event running in Forge of Empires, and it's it's called the Spring Event. And um, this time uh, we thought uh, we come up with a new theme uh, for you to enjoy in your cities. And we have a Cherry Blossom Festival, which I hope you like and um, yeah, which I hope you uh, enjoy in your cities. Um, so this spring event, it's a, it's a new kind of event um, and uh, you can uh, find these little cherry blossom uh, trees outside of your city. And uh, if you collect them, you get spring lanterns. You can also get these spring lanterns by collecting them in um, a quest line, uh, which you find uh, like on the side of, of your main menu. And um, these uh, lanterns you can then trade in to get uh, some cool prizes, like there are three chests that you can uh, open with these spring lanterns and you will get uh, some really cool stuff this time. And also, for the first time in Forge, we have a new mechanic uh, that we made uh, especially for this event, but uh, as a little spoiler, you can also expect us to, to reuse it again uh, in, in the future. Um, and this mechanic is called, uh, it's what we call the set buildings. So uh, in this event, you can collect like multiple buildings, and when you place them like right next to each other, they get super powerful in the end. Yeah. So. And how many? How many do we have? We have five of them. We have five of them yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, Which all together, when you place, is about a five by five building. Exactly. So yeah, for a five by five area, it gives out quite a lot of cool stuff. So yeah. Try to puzzle it together, guys, and That's true. you'll see what you can get. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, we would also like to open up um, for questions that you have um, and give you the chance to like talk to us and, and uh, give feedback and questions. And we try to answer like most of them. Yeah. <laughs> all that <laughs> we can. If not all of them, <laughs> if we can. Uh, and of course, we have some questions already prepared, um, sort of for the downtime uh, while you guys get your questions in. Um, but we yeah. definitely like talking to you a lot more than just reading off some questions. Uh, so yeah, please yeah. write in. We have we're on um, there, which is Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. <laughs> and of course, so um, we'll be talking to two sets of audiences here. We have some people saying hi already. Um, hello. So hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon, um, at least afternoon for us in Hamburg. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, was there anything else about the spring event? Um, well, these, um, the, yeah, there's some more stuff. Like uh, we did not only do the the new buildings, but there's also some some other cool new rewards that you can find. For example, as you mentioned, um, there's uh, the boost crates, which is a is an item that you get in the event, and it goes to your inventory. And in your inventory, you can open it. You can open this crate, and there's a, a little boost inside of it. And this boost you can then use to um, like make your city produce more or uh, make your army a bit stronger for a limited time. So this is. Um, also a new kind of reward that we're giving out and we're always uh, happy to learn what you guys uh, think of it. So mm -hmm. please also share feedback on, on the new stuff that you can get in the event. Yeah, yeah so we have um, Merlinda Ann who says hi guys. Hi. Hello. Thank you for joining in today. Um, Soren also says hi. Hello Soren. Uh, and we don't have any questions yet. Yeah. Maybe. Um, maybe we have some there. <laughs> Maybe you take that off. So one one asks the question: Stacking bonuses is good, but it's pointless if you don't get all five items. Well, um, of course the buildings were designed that they're super powerful when you have all five. But obviously, also when you only have two different items, then you can like build them together, and they already produce more than a usual building would. So um, it starts like being very cool and attractive, also with like not all five of these. So make sure you get uh, as many as possible, of course, but uh, it's also already really good if you don't have all five of them. So, And uh, on the other side, um, if you do the quests like actively in this event, then you will 
already find like two of these buildings um, in the quest themselves. One you get really early on as like a teaser, and one's the grand like reward at the end of the quest line. So yeah. um, you can get some, and they are also quite powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have about three of them so far, so I'm still waiting. I, I missed the koi pond, so you guys can write in <laughs> to let us know how far you guys are with the set buildings. It'd be really cool to yeah. hear. Uh, we have Soren here who said hi earlier. Um, she's saying, I'm playing this game since 2015, and this spring event is the best I've ever played. And oh, that's so awesome. I'm really happy to hear that. Nice feedback. Um, thank you. Uh, let's see, uh, we have Nando um, mm -hmm. from Chicago, he says hi from Chicago. Um, will we ever be able to trade buildings in our inventory to other players? My sister and I love the game and want to help each other. That's that's a good suggestion yeah. and one that we um, got quite a few times already in the past. Yeah. Um, having things in your inventory, um, like straight out gifting is probably nothing we will really do, but uh, we'll definitely, um, we're definitely always interested in bringing mechanics where you can help other players or interact with each other. Mm -hmm. um, and also, um, we are looking into mechanics to make like use of the stuff that's in your inventory that you might not use yourself. So um, definitely, you can stay tuned uh, about this. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, let's see, Diego. Uh, is asking, I'm just saying hello guys. Hi, Diego. Hello. Diego. Um, when will we be able to deposit more points than just 10 per use? Um, in this case, you're a big Forge Point user and you deposit up to, wow, to 2,000 to 5,000 Forge Points per day. That's, That's amazing. <laughs> you must have found <laughs> that um, achievement already. Uh, yeah, um, and the time it takes to deposit is absurd. Yes, uh, we That's true. Um, and I think we had already talked about this at some point, so yeah. we tried to how to figure this out. Um, yeah, it's sort of a solution we're kind of working on still. Uh, we realize that this is something that a lot of our, but definitely higher end, like, I guess older players, I would say, not old in age, but players who've been <laughs> with us for a long time, um, struggle with because we, yeah, we, we have a lot of buildings and a lot of ways to get forge points and yeah. to invest those 10 per uh, investment is, is pretty difficult. So, yeah, yeah. And like, uh, I think the, it's like the biggest problem is in the great buildings, which is the place yeah. where you really want to spend a lot. Exactly. And we're yeah. always also trying to like, streamline how you can spend yeah. forge points in great buildings. Yeah. So that's also something that uh, we're working on, actively working on. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything you want to forget about our Instagram guys? Hello, Mr. Boko Bokovnia says hello. Hello. <laughs> Uh, we have and Matt who says, great game, spring event, best one yet. So this is awesome. Good. That's Glad nice to hear feedback. that we have Thank fans. Um, yeah. And we have a player from Greece. Hello. Uh, I can't read. Hello that. to Greece. Hello to Greece. To all of Greece. <laughs> <laughs> Risto is asking, will this collection of buildings be making a return in the following years? Um, we think so. We think that uh, definitely next year you can um, collect them again, and maybe even uh, during the year you will have the chance to um, like complete your set when you don't finish it. But we can't promise anything like for sure now. We are still working on how it's uh, working. Oh, sorry, right? I'm a boy, not a girl. I'm sorry, sorry. T. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from Turkey. Hello to Turkey. <laughs> And it looks like Peter Parkman is saying, can you say hello to video uh, Peter Park? Hi, Peter Parkman. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Juan is asking, hello, speak Spanish? I don't speak Spanish. No. I only know a few things. Un poquito. But I, I, I don't want to say them now in the video. Yeah, yeah, it would be very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, I'll try to see here. There's a lot of questions. Yeah, this time. That's, yeah. That's, that's awesome. Um, Arna is saying, hi, I love, love, love with hearts this game. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear that. Um, but is it possible to get a 23 hour, or to get a 23 hour to get, to take the resources instead of 24? Ah, so I know like what 24. she means. Okay. Yeah. Um, like, uh, we have 24 hour product productions and when you start them, you basically, uh, you can collect them after 24 hours, but it's always like yeah. a second or a, a minute or whatever later than this because of, I don't know, how real life time and physics and stuff and <laughs> right. uh, yeah that works but yeah uh, we definitely discussed this um, and um, maybe we will do something like this um, eventually that's something we discussed definitely yeah, yeah. 
Um, we have Eileen who's asking, some people aren't going to be lucky enough to win all the Cherry Garden buildings. Are they going to be available in future events, like in the summer casino? Will we make those available? Yeah, we're, we're not sure if um, they will be in all the events, um, but for sure you will get the chance to like win them again at one point. But um, where and when, uh, we can't tell now because it's not really decided yet. Also depends a bit on your feedback, like if uh, a lot of you um, really can't finish their sets, then obviously we also want you to be able to win these rewards uh, at some point. Yeah. Um, and we have Keith Spicer who's asking, will we ever be able to buy much needed land anytime? Grr. Grr. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, yeah, I know. Once your city gets quite big in the future and such, it's, it's hard to build. Um, yeah, and we have our new age, Oceanic Future, if um, maybe some of you have already gotten there. Uh, but we have new expansions with every park that we uh, come out with. So, so far we have four, we're going to have four more. Um, so, yeah, so you can look forward to more of those. But yeah, we are running out of sort of space, <laughs> digital space yeah. on our digital world. Um, yeah. But uh, it's, it's something that we hear uh, quite often about. So. No, and it's also something that we're looking into how we can like, make more space available to the players. Yeah. But of course, also a gameplay like um, I don't know restriction that you have only this limited space where you can build, and you have to find a way and be creative and fit everything in there, and puzzle around a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we have Uras who's saying, hello guys, hi. Um, just to tell you that your game is beyond awesome. It's really great That's to hear. Cool. I love hearing that stuff from, from our uh, players. It's really nice. Um, and Peter Parkin says, you're a big celebrity. Well, I am. Me? Him, me? Um, probably me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pete. <laughs> you're welcome. I'm looking for questions, but we have a lot of people writing in. Oh, hey, okay, it's Anya. You're uh, amazing. Uh, hello, Anya. <laughs> uh, and Philippe says, uh, I love this game. I played around four years. That's great. Uh, we have our new achievements out. Um, maybe a lot of our players have already gotten them, but we have achievements for how long you've played Forge of Empires. Um, so, yeah, I hope you're getting those achievements. They're, they're pretty fun. Um, yep. We have Lucas who's saying hi from Australia. We're getting people from all over the world. This is really cool. Um, Soren is back saying I have lots of great ideas. Yeah, um, he, he wrote before that he wants to be an Inno Games employee at one point. Oh, okay. So just send in your, uh, your application. We're always looking for great colleagues with yeah. uh, lots of talent. So Definitely. Send in your application. Mm -hmm. And I will give you a thumbs up, like in the <laughs> HR department. Like, yeah, Soren, we know that guy. Right there. I know this guy from the, from the one chat. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, so going through looking at work questions here, I don't see any yet. Do we have anything on Instagram, maybe? Yeah. Oh, no more research technologies requirements in event quest lines. Give it an alternative. Yeah, that's also something we hear uh, quite a lot. Um, and definitely we want our quests to be challenging and interesting for the players. But uh, also we don't want to like annoy you with this uh, constantly. So. It's definitely uh, something where we are looking into like alternatives as well for all of our very hard um, uh, quest conditions that also players who simply cannot solve them maybe have an alternative that's maybe equally as hard, but something else. It's, I think, um, a good feedback. Yeah. Uh, Carla here is asking, um, hi guys, will we be able to trade coins, forge points and productions with guild members? Oh. And yeah, it's an interesting idea. Mm -hmm. I think I can see how that can be super helpful in a guild. Um, mm -hmm. We don't have plans for that at the moment. Um, but yeah, definitely we'll keep that thought in mind. Um, yeah, I, there's a lot of resources in the game. It would be really cool. Like we have questions about giving buildings to each other. So it sounds like players really like to share like, yeah. what they have in their stock. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's also with the balance of the game, you have to consider how that, that works with it. Obviously, so. yeah. There yeah. need to be some restrictions in some kind. Um, yeah. um, Edgar Ng is saying, hi Kai and T, I'm a new player, I love the game, regret that I didn't find your game earlier in the years. <laughs> um, don't worry, we'll be around for a long time so you can keep playing. Um, <laughs> can you make a fast-paced server or will there be a hardcore fast-paced server anytime in the future? Um, Plunder times five. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. 
Uh, <laughs> we haven't actually talked about that idea, no. but it's rather interesting. I mean, in terms of pace of the game, I think we've always talked about trying to make the pace faster in the beginning, um, mainly mm -hmm. because we have so much content now. The game now is almost five years old. And uh, so we can afford to get players through the game faster. Maybe that's something that could be interesting um, for new players. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like a server in itself that's just fast is kind of, kind of a cool idea. Yeah. yeah, I mean, for some other games um, that Inno Games produces, it makes a lot of sense, like Tribal Wars, where like, they're like servers with a few yeah. alternatives. But for Forge, we really have to discuss and see what makes sense there. But yeah, yeah it's, it's a cool idea, I think. Yeah. Uh, Richard is uh, asking, are we going to be able to get the buildings from the spring set once the event is over? I think a couple people have asked that. I think yeah. it's a concern for a lot of people, because which is a good sign. I think everybody really likes it. Yeah, we really hope you like them. And um, for sure, you can expect them to uh, be available again uh, after the event is over. But when and where, it's not really decided yet. And um, yeah, also depends a bit on your feedback, um, where you would like them to see. like. Um, in guild expeditions, or I don't know, in another game feature, or in a yeah, in another event. Obviously, um, they also fit to the uh, spring event uh, theme very nicely. So putting them on the summer wheel might not be a great fit in terms of like the flavor of the event. But yeah, we we can always um, see and and look where it makes sense to add them. Uh, we have Oliver who's asking, hello, has the idea of a satellite city or satellite Ooh. cities ever been brought up, for example, instead of expanding your city to create uh, the mechanism? It, it seems like another second city. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, for both in the future and maybe for the moon and the space future. And mm -hmm. greetings from Switzerland. Grüezi. <laughs> That's how you say it. Okay. I guess. <laughs> Oliver can tell you if you're right. Um, but yeah, I, this has been talked about sort of, um, yeah, I think so. So, yeah. uh, but I, for us, it's, it's, it's a technical challenge, sort of. So um, we have to look into it a little more, but I, I love the idea of a second city, another like extension of your main city. So yeah. um, we like the idea in game design, um, but we have our developers and, and they have to help us make it happen. So um, <laughs> we're working on it for you guys. Uh, so don't worry. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else? There's another question. Will we have new great buildings that are based on the new goods like Promethean and the incoming Oceanic Future One? So that just produced them? Or? Yeah, probably like how we drop the random goods or mm -hmm. the yield goods. Uh, at this point, no, that's not the plan. Mm -hmm. uh, or we haven't thought of that as something that we would want to do, mainly because we want to keep Promethean and the new Oceanic Future special good. Um, very unique and special and limited and very exclusive um, in a way that you can only get it from the harbor and from the uh, the terminal um, in Oceanic Future. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we want to keep these rare and we kind of like, because it's so end, like now that sort of the end part of the game, we want to keep it as a challenge. Um, so with the great building we've seen, you can get a ton of great stuff from it. And uh, I think it, it might, yeah. yeah kind of break the game a bit for us in terms of how we want to balance it. So, and I mean, at this point, it's probably not, um, but maybe something in the future, who knows? Uh, we never know, right? We always come up with ideas that work well for the game. Yeah, definitely. Ah, great see. <laughs> yeah, okay. So uh, uh, it was correct. You're then. right, okay, cool. <laughs> Um, Edgar is back to say, uh, it's you again, ah. hi, <laughs> thanks for hi, the Edgar. answer. Um, any thoughts on the Pagoda building? I got one of them from the Iron Age and two from Early Middle Age. Pretty, yeah, that's pretty fast. <laughs> so you started in Iron Age with the event and now you're in, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but still don't see reasons like to put them in the inventory, or put them for my inventory, any plans to buff it? Yeah. Any plans so, for that? The Pagoda building um, is kind of a, a special little thing um, because obviously it's called uh, the one story Pagoda. Um, and obviously it's not um, like uh, the most pushed building ever done, um, but that's because of a reason. Um, because if there's like a one story Pagoda, maybe there will be a two story Pagoda or a three story Pagoda at one point. Yeah. Um, and um, obviously we want uh, the building to have space to become better in the future, uh, obviously. And uh, maybe there will even be a little mechanic around it to make this pagoda bigger uh, in the future. So uh, stay tuned. And uh, it won't happen in this event, um, but uh, just yeah, keep them and maybe even build them already. And um, yeah, stay tuned until 
um, there will be some ways to make it better. Yeah. Definitely. Build it, you won't regret it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have Mark here. It says, hi guys, is it possible to have similar fix that was used on event manager, used on army management? Um, as more troops you have fixed lagging on GBG, yeah. I think GBG, yeah, we, we hear a lot of... Yeah, and um, I think if it's about the army management and, uh, and the troops yeah. and just having a lot and having lag there, um, if I remember correctly, there's a, a fix uh, on this uh, in the work right now. So you can definitely expect something on this um, very soon. Yeah. And Brian is back about the great buildings using our, uh, for Prometheum and the Oceanic Future Special Good. And he meant to say that great buildings to be made by them, not produce them. Now that I like, um, Brian. So yeah, definitely we'll keep that in mind. I yeah, like that's cool. having another sink for these kind of goods. So thank you <laughs> for clarifying that. I like that a lot. Um, Let's see. Uh, sorry, now we're screening yes. questions because now they're coming yes. in a lot. Yeah. Uh, Syria is saying, I'm playing this game for almost one year. Well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Uh, I saw something here that was interesting about why, why do you not put in the game night? And there will be, okay, so like a night night version for the city ah so the buildings with lamps on it yeah a day night cycle kind of yeah yeah we should do that <laughs> this came up i think recently i think yeah. one of the devs were saying it would be really cool i mean i think the technical challenge with that is sort of making it night i guess yeah like it would we would, would have to have a shader somehow on mm -hmm. mobile and then on browser i'm not sure how we would do that but yeah it, It'd be actually really cool, um, yeah. and maybe how I have it synced to your time of day, it actually be pretty nice. On the other hand, all of our buildings have a little shadow, and um, like in in the in the graphic, mm -hmm. so like if it's night and there's a shadow, it might be weird. But yeah. that's uh, something that our artists might say. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have some questions on GBG. Oh. Um, any upcoming updates for GBG? Uh, Currently not planned. Um, yes. Yeah, and we're working on a lot of different things right now. Um, GBG is a big thing. And I know it's always sort of on our mind, um, especially in terms of technically making it better for our players. Um, but in terms of actual updates to it, um, it's not quite planned yet. Um, yeah. But yeah, so it's definitely something that could still be in the future for us. So yeah. I know a lot of players are invested in GBG. Um, and I think, it's, yeah, we definitely want to make it nice for you guys. Yeah. yeah. So Lisa is asking, uh, I need the pond for the completion of the special buildings altogether. But when is it coming out? Well, um, it was already uh, in the uh, daily specials. So, and it will return in daily specials. So just keep an eye open um, and log in every day in Forge and you will eventually see it. And also um, the pond is also one of the grand prizes in the event. So when you win uh, multiple grand prizes, eventually there will also be the Koi Pond. So, if you're uh, active and if you're looking every day uh, what the daily special is, then you should be able to to see it in the event. <laughs> and the same spoilers, a little bit. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, Come on, Anna. You guys are joining in and you're talking to us, <laughs> so we have to give you a little something, right? So, um, Harry Lynn is saying, can we have it in the village seasons? Um, I guess seasons in the city. Oh, and nice. Another idea as opposed to day and night. And yeah, I mean, we have snow that happens in the winter time and we have ability to do these particle yeah. effects and these shaders um so you can make leaves i mean we talked about it even for spring we we're talking we, about we we have spring. i mean we have some some cherry blossoms that kind of explode in your face when you get a reward in the spring event and we talked briefly about like having it like pebbles falling down but in the end it was just too much on the screen <laughs> too much of uh pink stuff happening on the screen yeah. so uh eventually we didn't do it but um, yeah, it's definitely something like maybe you could style the outside of your city according to the season. Like in, in winter, we have the snow anyway. So maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a cool, flavorful thing to do. Yeah. Uh, we have Arna who's asking, uh, how about the medals? I have so much of them. Um, by the way, I've been playing the game for four years. Four years. Yeah, That's long. a really long time. So probably got the achievement. Yeah, nice. yeah, definitely. Nice. Um, yeah, uh, obviously we have a lot of resources in the game and obviously it always makes sense to give you guys a way to spend these resources when you have a lot of them. And um, for medals, it's always tricky. We always try to find a few new ways to spend them because we know players can get them. 
Uh, I guess the main way to spend them is on the expansions, but if you already have all of these expansions that you can buy, you can, for example, uh, use your melt and build expedition to buy new attempts. Um, but again, we're also looking uh, into other ways of uh, spending the medals. Mm -hmm. So we definitely work on this. Yeah, we have someone here on Jory underscore B. Uh, <laughs> how do I get the special uh, day offer in the event? So I think that's the daily special. Ah, right? okay. Yeah. So the daily special will just change every day. You don't have to do anything. You just have to log in Forge, click on the event button, and then you will see the event window. And um, in the left, uh, top left corner, there's the daily special. and it will just just change every day. Um, and you can get it by opening the event chests because the daily special is in all of these event chests. And um, obviously in the in, in the biggest chest there's it's in there with the highest chance. So it probably is a good idea to get it from there. Yep. Um, and we have time for about one or two more questions. We'll try to get two in. Yeah. Um, we have Liam who's asking um, any um, plans how plans any plans to, to oh, oh, any right. plans any <laughs> plans that will allow us to rotate our building or items. Or items. And, yeah, and, and yeah, we get the rotating, rotating building, building question quite, quite a lot. Quite a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, we yeah, definitely are happy to answer it. Um, but um, no, but no, unfortunately, uh, there isn't the ability to rotate buildings. I mentioned the art with the art side. Our buildings aren't built with us. So we would turn around at the end. But anyway, yeah, um, but anyway, yeah, yeah um, we don't um, plan to, uh, plan to or, or have the ability to rotate your buildings. Um, and again, the, the challenge of, challenge of Forge of Empires is to puzzle your city to try to make it the way you need it, the way you need it to, to make it, to make it most efficient, efficient or pretty, or whatever, or whatever your, your goal is. Um, but yeah, that's sort of the fun of it for us, and we never built it into any ability to do that. Yeah, true. More? More? More. Okay, one more. Okay, one more. Um, um, Ray Herrera, Herrera that's purchasing, purchasing, purchasing metals. Like direct, like directly purchasing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, already, I think I mean, already. I mean, I think we had a, a, a um, player right in, player right in that. A lot of metal, a lot of metal. Yes. Um, and, I, yeah. um, and I think for us, I think the metal you can get, you can a, get lot. a lot. If if you stick with it. You stick with it. You don't play. So we don't have any plans to sell the metals. We can always get them in the Exactly. Exactly. This is probably probably the best way to like get like get a lot of a lot of metals if you're not fighting in the tower turn and then you can like be lucky in the events and get them there. Yeah. Yeah. In, our, in our way, way to purchase them, them, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yes, in a way, in a way. Um, and we when um, so Rick is asking, um, so Rick is when, asking will when, get, when will we get treasures? Any treasure? Any treasure hunt? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In the Android app? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. We're, yeah. We're, currently we're, looking, we're currently looking, so we're always, so we're always looking into getting like the mobile, mobile version, 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 and having all features on both. And we're currently and we're currently looking into improving the treasure hunt and bringing it then on mobile as well. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So yeah, guys. So yeah, guys. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, we are out of time. We out of time. That was quick. super we really quick. We really enjoyed the session with you guys. With you guys. The, questions the questions were coming in. in. You guys were super engaged. It was really great to see um, all the compliments and the hellos from you guys from all around the world. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah. We'll, we'll say bye to you for now, but we will be back again and to talk to you at another point. So keep on playing. Have fun. Have fun. If you have any questions, always write into our forums. Our community managers are always happy to help. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.